Welcome to A Quest for Metal. Today we're doing another album ranking and we're ranking Dark Tranquility from my least favourite album to my favourite album. And before we even get started, um, whatever I put, wherever I put it on the list, it's going to trigger some people because Dark Tranquility has some, some hardcore fans and a lot of the lists I see. My favourite albums are not the ones that people generally you know, say are the best. So there might be some controversy in this ranking. I know Metal Trenches will fucking hate it. I know he will hate it. Because they have a lot of different um, styles within their discography. You know, they've got the more fast, aggressive, proper mellow death, you know, style in the mid part of the discography. They've got the more raw kind of Gothenburg sound in the early days. They've got the more experimental shit, like on Projector. And they've got the more clean, kind of more clean singing melodic doomy stuff like the new stuff so everyone has a different preference for me you'll find out my preference as we go through so i guess let's just get stuck in but before i do pop yours down in the comments below what's your favorite dark tron quality album what's your least favorite and let's get fucking started coming in last is we are the void um again with this band there's no bad there's no bad album by them um this one isn't bad the reason it's last is it's just kind of bland um, there's a couple last, which the reason I have last is just the kind of bland. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this album per se. I don't hate it. It's not a bad album. It's just uh, I never go back to it. I never go back. It's kind of heavy. There's some synthy sections in there, which I'm not the biggest fan of. It's very heavy and it's almost industrial like for some of the stuff. Um, yeah, not a big fan of the sound design on this album. Not a big fan of the album as a whole, and I know a lot of people, it has some fans, obviously. Most of these albums have some fans. This one, eh, doesn't really tickle my fancy, to be honest. I, I never really go back to this, and it's like, oh my god, this is the Dark Tron Kelty album, I need to hear. It's not, it's not like that. And the same can be said for my next one, which is Haven, which again... Um, it's got, again, it's kind of bland. There's not, again, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with these albums. But the standout tracks, there's so much better standout tracks on other albums, and there's better sounds on other albums. Like I prefer the like the doomier stuff, like the newer stuff, stuff like on Constructs, stuff like on Fiction. I prefer the more melodic death kind of Gothenburg sound, like on The Mind's Eye and The Gallery and Sky Dancer. This one is just kind of that middle era, but it's not quite as good as like Damage Done not quite as good as like character so it's just it's falling it's falling low it's falling here i'm afraid still a good album but just you know not as good as the fucking other ones so next up is projector the more experimental album this is kind of like a black sheep in the discography this is easily the most experimental uh i know you can say the same about moment but not really that kind of is kind of like construct 2.0 kind of doomier but this one it's very weird, very experimental. It's got some great female vocals in, some awesome female vocals in this in this album. It's a very weird album, and I like it, but it, I don't love it. You know, I like it, but I don't love it. I think, but it is a very experimental and weird album, and if you're used to, like, the older stuff, you're used to, like, the newer stuff, this one is, is, it takes time to get into, so maybe with more and more listens for Projector, it might rise up way higher. Because this feels like one of those albums that you need hundreds of listens to, not just not just 20 listens, hundreds of listens to, to fully appreciate. So it's going here for now, because at the moment, you know, I prefer the others, but maybe over time it'll rise higher. So I have high hopes for this album rising higher in the future, but for the time being... It's going here. Oh no, controversy time. Metal Trench is going to go fucking mad. So is the rest of the fucking fans. Uh, Damage Done is next. Again, I have my preferences. The Middle Era, not my favourite, as you could probably tell. Um, this, though, from here on out, these albums are awesome. This album is awesome. It's heavy the entire way through. It's still got the melody, though. Each song is just kick-ass. Like, this is a great album. But... For me personally, the sound on it, it's not the sound that I like from Mellow Death. If you've seen my Mellow Death ranking, Insomnium's top, Bellacore's top. I like Doomy sound. I also like, you know, Inflames is high as well. I like that kind of more early Gothenburg sound as opposed to whatever this is. I don't know what this is. This is like a heavy 
mellow death sound, which is great. You know, it's headbangable. All these songs are fucking amazing. A lot of classics are on this album, but I prefer the others. So what are you gonna fucking do? But I mean, come on, monochromatic stains, cathode ray sunshine. This has some absolute bangers on. Great album, not dissing the album, just telling you my taste. And let's move on to the next one, which is character course. This is gonna be next. It's a continuation from Damage Done. I think it makes it a little bit better, but also it's way heavier. And also, again, just like Damage Done, there's no clean singing in it. These two are like the heavy albums in the discography. No clean singing, brutal all the way through. And I enjoy that. I just prefer other shit. But still, this is a flawless album. Lost to Apathy being beautiful. Lost to Apathy being one of the best Dark Drunk Quality songs. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, can't say much more about this album. It's a great album from start to finish. A lot of Dark Drunk Quality fans have like damage done, character and shit, top. And good for them. This is my ranking. So let's move on. Next up is Construct. One that people hate and have really low down. And I say to them, fuck you. This album's amazing. It's slower. Yeah, sure, it's fucking slower, but it's doomier. It has that kind of atmosphere that I love, more kind of like Insomnium. Uh, this album blew me away the first time I heard it, because I heard Damage Done, uh, Fiction, and Character, and all those ones first, and then I heard Construct after that, and I was like, holy shit, this is so much different. This is way different to all them. More on the lines of Projector, but less experimental. This is a great album. Underrated as hell. People should give it another chance. Um... Um, although, they, people know their tastes as well, so, you know, if you know you don't like that slower sound, you probably won't like this, or Moment, but, yeah, I fucking love it. I think it's a great album, one of the best by Dark Tranquility, even, um, I'm not so, <laughs> Dark Tranquility? Yeah, I mean, every song on here hits for me, oh, uh, it's great from start to finish, so, give it another goddamn chance. Next up is the latest one, Moments, which kind of pairs in with Construct. Uh, another doomier album, a more clean album, a lot of clean singing on this, and his vocals, his clean vocals are so goddamn good. So goddamn good his clean vocals are. Holy shit. I think he should do a whole clean album. Some people will hate that, Trenches will hate that, but fuck Trenches. This is awesome. This is, sorry, <laughs> I just kind of fucking comment. <laughs> it's, it's friendly banter, okay? It's friendly banter. But yeah, this album, I love the clean singing in it. I love the melodies in it. I love the slow nature of the songs. It's fucking amazing. It's a great Dark Tranquility album. And it's one of the best of the year. One of the best albums of the year. So hell yeah, it's going high. Next up is Fiction. Holy shit, this album's flawless. It blends in the kind of heavy nature of like damage done and character with the kind of newer sound like Atoma and Moments into this perfect kind of package. And it just has everything for everyone. And one of my favourite songs is on this one. Misery's Crown, which is probably... Uh, no, this is my favourite song. Misery's Crown is probably my favourite song by Dark Tranquility. Like, holy shit, it's clean singing again. Flawless. I love it. I want a whole album of his clean singing. But yeah, love that song to pieces. And the album is just packed full of heavy songs beautiful melodic songs just everything you want in a dark drum quilty album this is the album i'd say to check out if you're new check out fiction it's the best of both worlds and i think it's a i think it's a fucking flawless album i think it's a flawless album and everyone should check it out so next up is atoma holy shit this album is flawless this is a 10 i love this album from start to finish everything i said about fiction move it over to this one but amp up the melody and amp up the catchiness of the songs because there's so many catchy songs on here Holy shit. This is the first album I heard by Dark Tranquility. I was a late bloomer to them, which is why my list is so weird. Um, yeah, it's why this one's so high. This is the gateway for me to Dark Tranquility. I love everything on it. Encircled, Forward Momentum, how good is that? Faithless by default is fucking amazing. When the World Screams, every song on here is a banger. It's, it's a perfect album, it's a 10. I'd give this one a 10. I love this album. And that's why it's this high. It's coming into the top three now, and you all know what they're gonna be. So my favorite style of sound is the kind of Gothenburg early mellow death sound, kind of like the Jester race. Um, what's the Out the Gates one? Not Out War the Reality, what's it called? You know the fucking one, I forgot it. Slaughter of the Soul, that's it. That's my favorite kind of sound. 
So of course the earlier albums are my favourites. First up, number three is Sky Dancer. This one has Anders from In Flames on, and at first I was kind of like, eh, it doesn't really fit, but after multiple listens, it's fucking awesome. It's raw, it's got that s signature sound that I love. I love the duets between him and the, the female vocalist. Love the acoustic parts. Just love everything about this album. This album's awesome. This album's fucking awesome. Um, the reason it's free and not two or one is it's rough around the edges. I, I think they kind of develop better on the next two albums, which is why they're higher. But yeah, for me at the moment, Skydance is number three. I love this album. So number two is The Gallery. This is another classic album, one of the classic Mellow Death albums. Um, what can I say? I explored this album on the channel. I fucking love it from start to finish. It has that sound that I like. It's, it's more improved than the debut. And it is a classic 10 out of 10 that everyone should listen to and have alongside the Jester race and the, the one I keep forgetting by Out The Gates. It's a classic. 100% get it. Every song's a masterpiece. The sound of it's amazing. Like even the acoustic parts in it are amazing. There's, there's nothing bad about this album. It's a great album. I don't know how people can put the middle stuff higher than um, this album, because this album is flawless. So that means my number one has to be the only one left, the number two, the sophomore album, The Mind's Eye. And this is an underrated one. I think more people should check this out because it's the perfect blend uh, between that raw nature of Skydancer and the kind of melodic nature of um, the gallery. And it's just, it's, it's a perfect hybrid. Songs like Insanity's Crescendo, Hedon, oh my god, the instrumental at the end, Mind's Eye, this album is flawless from start to finish. As soon as I played it, I was like, holy shit, why are people putting this last? Um, I don't understand why people are putting this like lower down. This is one of my favourites by them, easily. I mean, easily is my favourite, that's why it's number one. Don't understand the hate for this one. Uh, it's easily my number one. I mean, these three are set in stone. The rest, it's, it's hard. But these three, come on. The Mind's Eye is amazing. My favourite albums um, in Melodic Death. And the best album by Dark Tron Quality, in my opinion. So that was my ranking for Dark Tranquility, an amazing band of amazing discography. Let me know if you agree with my list, if anyone agrees with it. Let me know, and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.